The right. movie airplane is mostly facts. You should have aborted takeoff already a long time ago, but <laughs> yeah, that's not real. <laughs> it the, looks real to me. When people ask me like how bad movies are when with airplane, mm -hmm. that's my reference right here. To aviation, <laughs> all things are possible. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about the phonetic alphabet. Great. It's bad. Hey Ben. Good over. Listen, I know you're filming the radio comms course, yeah. but you should take a break. I done. brought tea and chocolate. I love movies. I know you love television. I do. So I'm gonna show you some clips of aviation. You're gonna rate them on how realistic they are. Yep. And then I'm gonna tell you how wrong they are. Let's do it. Okay. Here we Ooh. go with our first clip. Airplane. Yeah. Classic. Kareem Joel Jabbar. You have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? This seems pretty accurate. I hear you guys say stuff all the time. It's a great <laughs> parody of how pilots talk. Even when you're in the airplane, we make fun of that. You hear control saying, say altitude. Altitude. You said you're supposed to say your actual altitude. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Right. so what would you rate the accuracy of this clip? Oh, I, like that's a nine out of 10. But it's from the movie Airplane with Leslie Nielsen. The right? movie Airplane is mostly facts. I, <laughs> I wholeheartedly disagree. I'm going to give it a two. A two? A two. Hello. Hi. Are you deadheading? What? Yes. Yes. <laughs> She's asking him if yeah, he I'm is deadhead. deadheading. I have a question about this. What is a deadhead doing on an airplane and why do they get to fly for free? Like what is so good about the Grateful Dead fans? <laughs> <laughs> He's not a deadhead in that sense. <laughs> okay, all right. So that's a thing. Deadheading, yeah, and then and jump seating. For a pilot to just. Jump seating is a thing. So jump seating is when a pilot needs to get to an airport where they can fly the airplane to go somewhere. So the jump seat is this Literally a seat in the cockpit where you can you can say yeah. Yeah, here we go. There's that seat. There's the There's seat. There's the seat yeah, you're talking so about. Usually not very comfortable at all. It doesn't look like it. No, like no. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> yes, from no. So should we rate this based on the seventies or you want to rate this based on today? Well, based on the seventies, entirely possible. Yeah, you could get all the way to the gate and, and say goodbye to people oh, as right. they were leaving in the plane. Right? I actually so, I actually remember doing yeah, that. Yeah, you still needed a ticket. No, I would say that's a nine out of 10. I'm gonna rate that a four because it's Leonardo DiCaprio and Leonardo DiCaprio isn't real. But he like, wasn't the famous. Actor, yes. He wasn't famous in the 70s, so they would have never recognized him. Exactly. All right, here we go. Next one. Okay, so a little backstory on this one. He's overweight, one to 200 pounds, I believe. Stole warning, can't get off. Uh -huh. Runway's coming up. You should have aborted takeoff already a long time ago, but he's <laughs> no, Tom Cruise. He's, he's committed. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's not real. <laughs> he, it looks real to me. No, he'll be dead. No, tell me he doesn't get out of that. No. Hey, <laughs> no. <laughs> Ten of the trees. No, there. no, no. That's not how it works. The prop, the props would be completely messed up. Well, and he had a crucifix though. I mean, that, oh, yeah. that saved him right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but that's uh, maybe touching the landing gear on the top of the trees, but uh -huh. like the, the most of the cockpit was in the trees. Those tree branches would have completely destroyed the aircraft, not to mention slowed it down. That's massive, massive drag. You would have never been able to continue climbing after. It's both a short field and a soft field. Soft field because of the, the terrain he's taking off on grass. So you'd want to get off the ground as quickly as you can to get into ground effect so that the wheels are no longer touching the grass. Ground effect basically allows you to be up in the air and then you'd be able to pull uh, at the very end, but no. Yeah, in this case, uh, definitely definitely a one out of 10. So, okay, so here's why I disagree with you and why you're wrong. Because it's Tom Cruise? Because it's Tom Cruise, exactly. Tom Cruise does all of his own stunt. There's no CGI whatsoever. Those it's trees Tom are 100% CGI. 100% <laughs> not. Next clip, moving on. Bonus points if you can name this movie before the plane goes down. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen this movie. Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, that oh, is fake. It? Yeah, okay. that would be the end of the flight right there. <laughs> it's already the end. <laughs> yeah, the, oh, wait, 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 wait. Because <laughs> I was going to say that a piece of the wing would be missing, in which yep. case you're losing a lot of your lift. And you already have an engine out and they're not doing any correction. When you lose an engine, you have to drop a wing. The pilot is from prison. They didn't um, teach that in prison, I guess. <laughs> the BMC <laughs> role doesn't apply. The Microsoft Sim in prison is not. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and then he makes a turn on the dead engine, 
Yeah, okay, definitely. So that's a VMC. On, so he has a dead engine on the left and a missing wing on the left. And then he's turning on that side, which means that he's turning on the side that has zero lift, basically. So that's how you... Oh, nobody's wearing a seatbelt. Oh, boom. boom. And everybody survives. The plane didn't catch on fire. The trees blew oh, up. Oh, the trees blew up. The trees had um, gasoline. The TNT in it, yeah. yeah. Not a flame coming out of that aircraft. Right. Okay. Oh, now we're missing wing. a tail. <laughs> no, <laughs> the engine is still running. <laughs> yep. Oh well, there's water, so you saved. There yeah. you go. There we go. Okay. Now here's here's one of my favorite parts here with this crash. Wow, that is one hell of an engine. How strong is that thing? Oh, and there's a guy with a gun. Oh wow. <laughs> wow, that thing has some momentum. It went through like the building, the lobby. Yes. The whole strip, trees, and it's still going all the way, and it wins. <laughs> and, and there's I mean, the winner. And then here's the fireworks. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, um, I mean, that's a zero out of 10 right there. I, they would have rolled into a VMC the, roll before any of this <laughs> scene happened. <laughs> the only thing unrealistic I feel like about this one is when the the slot machine hits because you know that that's not <laughs> happening. That's not really happening. I thought you were going to say Nicolas Cage is the only thing that's unreal in there, but oh no, he's very real. If you're missing part through of the aviation, way. all things are possible. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's uh, Denzel. Yeah. Lost right, so the this... elevator, so you can't go up or down. Oh, well, he's not turning left at all. He said it's pulling left. Hard. Oh, well, there comes the... Steep. Yeah. Power back. Yeah, that would, that's a good idea because you're nose diving. So at that stage, you can pause the movie right there. It's going to crash. If you lost the elevator, you have zero absolute way of maintaining stability and then pitching up or down. He's vertical. Okay, so this is perfect. An airplane that flies like this creates lift this way because the airflow goes over the wing, right? When you go like this, you create lift this way. What keeps you up in the air? You can only do it for a short period of time. Right here in the image, they're actually completely vertical <laughs> going forward. Physics disagrees. When people ask me like how bad movies are when with airplane, mm -hmm. that's my reference right here. Is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that upside down. Oh my God, yeah. So bad. I think that's almost worse than uh, the Vegas landing. Do you think? Yeah. I'm gonna say this is an eight. Aviation and flight started as a dream. And I feel like you as a pilot should dream bigger. You know, I feel like your imagination is lacking. I feel yeah. like this is possible. I'm a firm believer in physics. Oh, yes. Madagascar. Skipper, look. We're crash landing. This could potentially be possible. It's called a flat spin, but it doesn't happen like they show. It doesn't stop and then go down. Mm -hmm. It's a wild e. coyote kind of thing, you know? No, oh, like they're floating, which would actually be possible. Yeah. In this case, yeah. you would totally be floating in space. Neg uh, negative Gs. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's like the um, Boeing. This might be more accurate than Denzel. This might be the safest crash landing we see all day. That's a lot of momentum right there, too. That's like a solid six out of 10. Really? Yeah. Really? Th this has more truth in there than it does from the Denzel movie. This might be the clip that we actually come close to agreeing on. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, another. Another Tom Cruise. Another Tommy. Yeah. I think that's Mission Impossible, but which one? I don't know. A400, Airbus 400M. Oh, that. Wait, wait, this one, I think I heard about this. He actually. Yes. This is actually real film. Was he in the back? No. There's no way they would let him do that. Yeah, that looks actually pretty realistic. Benji, open that door. How's that? Okay, Ooh. so. You know what? It's, it's entirely possible the airflow is going to go from that small door to the big door. So that would suck him in. You would get knocked out because his head bounced pretty hard there, so you'd be unconscious. But it's Tom Cruise, so who knows? This was filmed practically. Well, some of it. They had him harnessed, though. Could someone hang on the side of that plane without a harness? Ugh, that's a stretch. I don't think it's impossible. Mm -hmm. Is it likely? 
probably not. Uh, I would say, I mean, as far as realistic, it pro that's a eight, nine out of 10. That's highly realistic. All right, we're in agreement. Now yep. this, this of course, out. is based on a real true based story. Based on a true story, yeah. Is what they're showing realistic. Yeah. Uh, it is possible for the for birds to hit an engine. It but is. Usually, it's, it's very, very extremely rare for both engines. It's yeah, yeah, definitely very, very unlucky. Now, what saved everyone here was this quick thinking, and obviously, knowing the gliding capabilities of the aircraft. You know, flying this type of aircraft with no engine is nearly impossible. It's a brick. This thing will will start to go down like a brick because it needs yeah. airspeed too to maintain enough lift. Okay, so yep. he gets Check a manual list. out. Yeah, first thing you do. Okay, yep. and he said he didn't. He couldn't make it there. Yeah. Here's what's unrealistic to me at this point, okay? Because in every other clip we've seen, when something goes wrong in the airplane, the pilots in the front freak out. Yeah, And they yell they and scream. <laughs> but they never do. <laughs> but, the, but they're so calm, no, it's like the, nothing's wrong. This is actually how professional pilots behave. So if you listen to a, a lot of emergencies, pretty much every emergency, Pilots never freak out. They're, they're flying the airplane. That's what they're trained to do. They're trained to work on checklists. They're trained to respond. Freaking out does nothing. It, quite the opposite, actually. Now, flying the plane like this, you know, I don't know if that was realistic or not, the way they oh, move, but... I mean, the fact that everybody survived, including the pilots, was just a, a testament to his skills. Everybody survived. Yeah. Just, yeah. just absolutely amazing. Facts to me, this is one of the most realistic, not only CGI, but like mm -hmm. the way that it happened in the cockpit, I'm sure was like to the word. That's a nine out of 10 for me. Nine well, out of 10? Yeah, absolutely. My issue here is the splash, okay? That splash was weak, it was weak sauce. <laughs> I feel like that splash would be much bigger and it felt like they were just floating along. You've gone through six flags too much. Yeah, yeah, several that's, times. Yeah, that's it's a good problem. place. Yeah. Eight out of 10 for me. I had to take away a point for the splash. For the splash. Mm -hmm. oh, well, that's, that's fair enough. Yeah. Wing formation. As you know, the plant rests between two mountains. And on this oh point, yeah, that's that's where it hurts. A steep climb at that speed, you're pulling yep. at least eight Gs. Nine, oh, yeah, so what? Minimum. The Nine. stress limit of the F-18's airframe is 7.5. That's the accepted limit. All I hear is excuses. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be pulling so hard you'll weigh close to 2,000 pounds. Yep. Your skull crushing your spine. Yeah, c consistent G's is not good. You know, you can have uh, you can have it for a short period of time. Can they do it? Can they pull it off? You'll never know until you watch the movie. <laughs> until I watch, but I know they do it. No, not necessarily. They're gonna no lose spoilers. one or two guys, but everybody else will make it and they'll accomplish the mission. It's like you watch movies. <laughs> Except you don't. Oh, yes. What is that, the B movie? Yes. Good guess. Two points. You got bonus points for knowing the movie, and you get two more bonus points if you can name the voice actors in this scene. The nose of the or plane down. Jerry Seinfeld. Yep, there's your guy. Rotate around it. No, oh, this is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. So, accuracy on this. <laughs> Negative 20. No, hang on, hang on. You'd be surprised how much of a conversation there is online about if bees could move a plane. Yeah, 20,000 bees to leave one and, kilogram. And, and 300. Times about 350. Yeah. Is seven billion bees. But then you have to teach them how to do it. That's but then the I, difficult part. <laughs> <laughs> with the right teacher, with the, light, the right lead instructor, you know, I think anything's possible in aviation. Didn't we say that already? You know, I mean, we've been killing all the bees, so <laughs> right. I don't think they'd be so willing to uh, save us, but yeah. That's gonna be a no for me. Uh, zero out of 10. Zero out of 10. Okay, but on a scale of not zero, your answer? Yeah. See, yeah. I say this is a 10 out of 10 because I found scientific evidence to prove it. And that's a wrap. <laughs> Let me get some more of that chocolate. Nope. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>